Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy your stay. My name is Tashiana, but I generally go by Tosh. I'm a second year college student at Oberlin College, um, and I'm also from Cleveland, Ohio. Before I get into today's video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and per usual, ooh, um, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to check out my YouTube channel. All right, ooh, what was that? <clears throat> What's kind of crap? Let me get some water. All right. Cool, I'm hydrated <laughs> after like one sip. Anyway, so as y'all can tell by the title of this video, I will be recording a week in my life in college and not just any week, my first week as a second year student. Good stuff. So it's Sunday, August 30th. It's like 8.30 in the morning. I literally just checked it. It's 8.30 in the morning. Um, and so yeah, I thought I would take y'all around with me today as I prep for tomorrow because I do have a few things that I want to do to prep for it. I'm also going to meet with some friends later, which I'm really excited about. Um, I also got clear. So your girl is COVID free. I get tested again in a few more weeks. I think in about two weeks or so, I'm going to get tested again. Oh, so that's good. Um, and so, yeah, I'm about to go do some laundry and then I'm going to do some goal setting, some planning, some budgeting, all that good stuff. Also, I'm going to show y'all my dorm sometime throughout this video. Um, it's not all that exciting, but I figured I would show y'all just in case folks are interested. So yeah, let's go down to the really creepy basement to go wash the clothes. Clothes are washing. Yay. Also, like, look how low-key creepy it looked down here. Like, I'm really scared of y'all. Whoever had the idea of putting the laundry room in a basement that looks this scary, like your mind, I'm scared of it. I just finished a brain dump slash things to do list. I feel like there's something that I'm missing and I'm already starting to feel like a little anxious. Like I don't, I feel like I don't really know where to start with all of this. Like I feel like there's a lot that I want to do before tomorrow, but I'm also a little confused. There's a course that I want to take, but it was full anatomy, yeah, anatomy and physiology. Um, and at my school, we have like an ad drop period where you can like attend the classes, even though you're not registered for it. But this year we have to attend everything via Zoom, of course. And like we have a whole lab on Tuesday for the class and the class meets on Tuesdays and I don't want to go to a three hour lab for a class that I'm not going to be enrolled in. So that's making me a little anxious, but I really want anatomy and physiology as opposed to molecular bio. So I'm going to just like talk with the professor hopefully on Tuesday. Um, I think I'm going to have to like send a quick email to the professor that I'm like TAing for. Um, and also I don't like working down here at all. It's like it's not cute and like little gnats keep flying around so i'm about to go back upstairs in my dorm after i put my laundry in the dryer it's to work that isn't in my dorm and it's also not too far from where i'm doing laundry so and i don't have to wear a mask in here so we love that agenda slash lists folder and then within that folder I have a document with weekly non-academic agenda and then I have everything from Monday through Sunday so I'm, so I'm currently about to identify all the non-academic things I want to do and on which day I want to do that. Hey y'all, so it is, let's see, it's 8, 10 at night. I had a good day. I had a nice, productive, fun day. I met up with some friends earlier. I organized stuff. I did a yearly reflection. 
I set some goals. I had a very productive meeting for something that I'm doing. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm starting to feel a little anxious. Um, the last thing that I wanna do before I like go to sleep is look at my syllabi. Now, I said I was gonna wait until my professors discuss everything, but let me silence my computer. Stop texting my phone. I, I don't know, I just feel like I just wanna kinda review some stuff. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, show y'all how I'm reviewing. I also need to figure out how I wanna take notes. So I have some paperwork that I need to like glue in a notebook. But anyway, I have some notebooks. Let me like identify all the school supplies that I have, which I don't think I brought enough. Oh geez, so I have two notebooks. But like most of my notes I wanna take um, on my iPad via Notability. Where's my school supplies? I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Like, it's giving me it's time to go to sleep vibes. No. Do I only have two notebooks? That ain't good. Okay, I'm gonna make my second notebook my molecular bio notebook. And I think for psychology, I'm not gonna have a dedicated notebook. Rather, I'm gonna just keep all of my notes and notability. And that's also what I'm gonna do for OCHEM and molecular bio. But I think I'm gonna have like my original sloppy file or like my in-class notes in my notebook. I just thought about it. For my molecular bio class, everything's gonna be recorded. So how do I wanna do that? How do I wanna do that? How do I? Okay, so it's gonna be recorded. And I don't have that much time between molecular bio and the class that I'm going to like TA for. So I think I'll have me sloppy notes section there. Okay, so what I'm about to do is go on Notability and create like a folder for each class. So, so far I have one for organic chemistry. As y'all can probably see, I have one for organic chemistry here. I need to create one for psychology, one for molecular bio, and then I'm gonna also create one for my fourth class, which is an HBCU course. Actually, just kidding. I'm gonna just take notes on that via my um, Google Drive. All right, hey y'all, as y'all can see, I am no longer in my room because it's just, I'm grateful for my space, but I was very crammed, I was getting hot, getting a little too overwhelmed. So I moved to the study space in the basement, which I'm very thankful for. Hopefully nobody is here in the morning because I plan to like come in here for all of my classes. We do have a few other spaces to work just in case this one has some folks in it. What I'm gonna do is go through my first syllabus, which is my psychology syllabus and take some notes via notability. So this glare is kind of bad, so I'm sorry, but right now I just finished going through my psych syllabus for the second time. I read it thoroughly the other day. It confused me a lot and I'm still a little confused because we're going to separate into groups. A, group B, and then we're going to alternate which group comes into class. And then if you're not the group that's going to be, um, if you're not the group that's supposed to be like in class or attending class remotely, whichever one you choose to do, then you have to watch a lecture and then we alternate that. But it's still kind of confusing to me, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be clarified tomorrow in lecture, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Instead, I added the quizzes that I do have to the reminder app on my iPad, and then for my first exam, I put that into my Google Calendar, um, and so I'm gonna do that for the rest of the exams, but since there are so many quizzes, I'm not gonna add all those quizzes right now to my reminder app, but I will like add those every week, maybe. So one thing that I like to do is I like to have like my exam days in red so it pops out at me. So that's really helpful. All right, so another thing that I did was I used the Notability app to take like some notes on the syllabus to like make an outline for myself. And then in a separate color, I have the question that I plan to ask if they're not clarified when she talks about the syllabus. And so yeah, I did this just so I can have more transparency in myself and make sure everything is a bit more clear. But me, okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Now I'm about to move on to my last Good morning, y'all. Today is Monday, August 31st. It is the first day of classes of my second year in, of college. Yes, girl, I am a whole second year out here, 19 years old. It's my birthday just passed, it was on Thursday. 
period. Um, but yeah, I am all dressed. I'm about to go downstairs in the basement and set up for classes. My first class starts at 9 a.m. I have Psych 100 from 9 to like 9.50. And then at like 10, 10 50-ish, I have molecular bio. And then from like 11, 10, and 12, 20-ish, I have the class that I am an owl's leader for. So a pretty busy morning, but then the rest of my day is pretty clear in terms of the classes. So yeah, let's go downstairs, get set up, read some emails, all that fun jizz and jazz. I left my watering can or my spray bottle at home. So this is what your girl is working with to water these plants, my beautiful, beautiful plants. Y'all like the socks and sandals? I'll change later. This is the very long creepy corridor that I was telling y'all about. Like, I'm scared of you. Okay, this is where your girl will be at. The only downside to this room, it's in the basement and that's the only natural light I'll be getting. And so it's kind of lonely down here, but we'll see how it goes. on what I am currently doing. So all of the Zoom links can be found, of course, on Blackboard. And apparently, like if you use the link that is attached on Blackboard, it'd be much easier to access the class just because professors are gonna be taking attendance via that. So what I'm doing is I am opening up Blackboard multiple times and I'm just for each class having the link available on screen for me. And so I can just click on it. I'm just gonna leave this open for like a really long time. So quick update, finished my first class, psych. It went so, so well. So my professor, so she actually just graduated from UNC at Chapel Hill with her PhD in psychology. Um, and so obviously, well not obviously, but she's very young, which is really nice. I mean, of course she's still like my superior and I respect her and everything, but you're, you're just able to connect with folks who are generally closer to you in age rather than someone who's like 50 years old. So that's really nice. We did a really cool activity where we answered a series of questions. Um, and then we were able to see if we were right or wrong. And she was able to relate that to sort of some of the topics we'll talk about later this semester. Semester. So I'm really excited for that. Yes, um, so I do have about a 20 minute break before I go to my next class, go to my next class, <laughs> which is molecular bio. So it's 952. I go to that at Chin Chin. And honestly, there's not much for me to do. I think I may just watch some Netflix, eat a granola bar, and sit class. Class number two is finished. And my actual, I mean, technically I'm really done with classes for the day besides the chem class that I am going to be an owl for. But anyway, molecular bio went really well as well. My professor seems very sweet. Um, I also think that we have access to a lot of like practice problems, resources, question and answer sessions. Um, there's just gonna be a variety of different ways to learn the material, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, I'm still feeling pretty good. I don't feel overwhelmed or anything. Also I have like, kind of a lot of time today between like lunch and a dinner appointment and then after dinner to like get started on some work even though it's not that much right now so yeah your girl is doing good i will probably check in with y'all when i go to lunch which i don't know what's for lunch we'll see hey y'all so it is now what time is it it's like 1 10 in the afternoon and let me tell you about the freaking line to the dining hall like it was so long I was waiting in line for like 30 minutes I got to Stevie the main dining hall at like 12 25 ish like at 12 30 and it's now 1 10 I'm finally sitting down in the grass area about to eat so like that's really not a lot of fun because I feel rushed because like my scheduled lunch time like for myself is from 12 30 to 1 30 so your girl got to get the move on but let me show y'all what I'm about to eat all right so I am eating a turkey sandwich and some barbecue chips and I'm out here in Tatham Square. I hear a dog and I'm kind of scared. 
Hey y'all, so I just left the mail room. Your girl got a package from Amazon. So I recently ordered some blue ray, is it blue, blue light glasses? I think they're called. Um, for those who don't know, blue light glasses are non-prescription glasses that help like your eyes when you're like constantly looking at a screen because like, I think it's like a blue light that um, can damage something in your eye called the retina. And so yeah, I ordered those glasses. I'm, I'm gonna look absolutely ridiculous with glasses on, but it's okay, it's okay. We're doing this for, you know, physical health. Um, so yeah, I think it's like almost two o'clock. I'm gonna get back to my dorm, do some planning. And then I have a dinner appointment at four o'clock, unfortunately. And then when I get back, I'm gonna go to dinner. After dinner, I'm gonna do some work. And that'll be my day. Yeah, my first day is going so good so far though. Yeah, I'm in a good mood. My dorm, I don't think I've ever showed you on the outside. Back in my dorm, it's 2.30. About to open up my package so I can like start wearing the glasses now. Cause your girl is always on some type of electronical device. Mine look so stupid. Like, ooh, it comes with a case, which makes sense. All right, guys, got it out of the plastic. Comes with a cleaner. It's in more plastic. And I don't know what this blue thing is. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never worn glasses in my life, so. Just got some all black ones. I can already see like the blue boy. All right, don't laugh at me. I look crazy. Oh my God, I look like a grandma. And this dress, oh my God, I look like a grandma. Who granny am I? I look crazy, I really do. This is kind of embarrassing. Good morning, y'all. Today is Tuesday, September 1st, and it's 8, 12 in the morning. I am actually talking to y'all while I'm like unpacking my book bag. I am in my little area that I claim to be my own. Honestly, I don't think anybody ever comes in here because the trash definitely hasn't been emptied. It just still has my crap in it. Um, and then like the chair is always in the same place, man. However I leave it, it just always looks like that. So I'm not complaining at all. I hope it stays like that. But anyway, my first day yesterday went really well. Um, it like um, was a little over, not overwhelmed, but stressed rather, um, last night because I did not get done as nearly as much as I wanted to get done, like at all. I was trying to get done with a few assignments and you know, I didn't anticipate that they would take me that long. And so the other like non-academic things that I wanted to do did not get done. It's okay, it's a new day. Um, it's only the first week of classes, it's all about identifying exactly how how much time you're going to spend on each class um, after the first week you get a better sense of okay yeah this is crap I shouldn't do this for example if you have assigned readings for some classes they're assigned but are they really helping you I'm sorry to say this but for most of my science courses I stopped doing the readings after like the first week two weeks tops because they generally don't help me um, and I don't know professors just generally go over everything during lecture that I need to know and then they have supplemental material that you can practice so yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes in terms of me reading for my STEM courses this semester but I'm currently about to uh, read some emails check my agenda and my calendar to make sure I'm not missing anything um, and then I have a project to work on and then I'm going to focus on organic chemistry I have organic chemistry today that's my only class I um, didn't get a chance to look at the syllabus yet your girl, like I said last night, I had some things that I wanted to do, and yeah, that happened, but it's okay. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I'm gonna spend my morning doing, and so I will see y'all in a bit. people so I just left the field house to see if my items that I left here back in the spring before you know getting kicked off campus was um, placed in the field house but apparently like my bike wasn't there and the woman said that it may have gotten placed in a trailer and got shipped not shipped off but like placed somewhere off campus because it may have been mistakenly put in the pile for the folks who won't be here until the spring semester what they're going to do is they're going to bring those trailers back and go through everything i just want my bike and it's very sad that i can't get my bike is one of the things that i miss the most being able to ride my bike 
Hey y'all, so I always clap when I say hey. But anyway, it is 7.30 or almost 7.30 at night. I just finished hanging out with some friends. We got dinner, sat out in the quad, talked. It was really nice and really fun. I'm about to, I don't have much to do tonight, I don't think. I just, I wanna listen to my biology lecture um, and then I'm gonna move on to my um, organic chemistry lecture and then if time permits, I'm gonna go back and finish taking notes for biology. So yeah, let's do that. Today is Wednesday, September 2nd, multitasking per usual when it comes to recording in my morning. And it's like 8.20 in the morning. I did not want to get up this morning. It's only my third day of classes and I'm already trying to figure out how I'm going to do all this. Like, mm -mm, I'm, I was so tired. So I finished up a lecture, two lectures rather, at 12. And I'm like, yes, I'm about to go to sleep. I get in bed and I watch Netflix for a whole hour. I know, I know. <sighs> Something's wrong with me. I definitely kind of regretted it this morning because I only got six hours of sleep and I was very tired and I did not feel like it up. But thankfully, I do like my morning stretches and stuff. So it's very, it's a great way to wake up. I don't like jump to doing work or jump into reading emails or go right to class. So um, yeah, obviously I still have a two hour break before my first class even starts, which is at nine o'clock. But yeah, anyway, like I told y'all last night, today is gonna be um, a pretty full day. So we'll see how much footage I get. Today is Thursday, September 3rd, and it's like 8 a.m. in the morning, and we are almost to the end of the week, and it has been a long week. Overall, it's been a good week. It's been overwhelming at times. Um, I know that hopefully by the end of week two, I'll have some type of rhythm and flow down, which is nice. I have a schedule for this weekend. I'm um, to like kind of not really catch up on work, but you know, do some work. But anyway, earlier y'all saw my kind of sort of morning routine. I may do a full morning routine video sometime this semester, we'll see. Okay, I only have one class, but it's a it's optional to go today because it's a question and answer session for the material we've covered this week. And I have to review today's lecture, which I'm gonna review in a bit. After reviewing the lecture, I'm gonna see if I feel the need to go to the question and answer session. And it's still pretty much review um, from general chemistry. And so I don't think I'm gonna go just because I wanna to go to lunch during that time. And then when I get back from lunch, I'm gonna start doing some work, but we'll see how I'm feeling after, after I watch this lecture. Fingers crossed, I feel okay with the material and anything I'm uncomfortable with, I can just like YouTube it because I don't wanna to go today because I just wanna kind of spend some time playing catch up, I guess. And so yeah, I'm about to read some emails, watch the lecture, and then work on a project. And then we'll see how I'm feeling after that. And I may go to lunch directly after. This is how the dining hall looks now. We have to like follow the red stickers and all that good stuff. Hello. Okay, I honestly, I am getting tired of these masks. I saw something on Twitter where someone was like, if y'all still have the surgical mask, something, 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 and then somebody else retweeted them like, dang, we really at the um, mask shaming part of the pandemic. <laughs> I'm so dead. These masks are really ugly. Like, I need to get like an all black one, but anyway, that's besides the point. It is currently, what time is it? Five? Yeah, it's almost five o'clock in the afternoon, evening. Um, I am on my way to the other side of campus to get tacos from a dining hall. I'm going to meet a friend, and I think we're going to play a game. That's exciting. I see a dog and I'm scared. I'm just gonna take a break from work, clear my mind, not think about it, and go on with my day. Also, am I the only person who sometimes just stop and think like, wow, 
we really are in a whole pandemic. It's like, if I leave my dorm without my mask on, I literally get so scared. I feel like, okay, I've watched a few like apocalyptic movies where, you know, there's like this airborne disease and the whole world just ends. And I just feel like sometimes that's how COVID is. It is a sad time, but it's okay. Also, my background looks really good. Y'all know college teens or whatever? It's literally, what time is it? It's 10.30 at night and I'm super sleepy, but I'm about to fix like two, three or four braids in the front of my hair because they need to be fixed. She is hanging off with your life, so that's what I'm about to do. But I wasn't exactly the same before we started hanging out. Y'all, good morning. Let's get into this light. I may just take another thumbnail because your girl is looking good. Anyway, it is Friday, September 4th. It's about... 7.45 in the morning. Um, happy Friday, low-key, but low-key not just because my Friday did not like start off too great. Literally, we had three fire drills, not even drills. Let me take that back. My dorm had three fire alarms being set off in between the times of 12 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. And like my friends and I were thinking that somebody was like smoking in their room and we're like, okay, what are you doing at this point? Some folks were saying how like one of the alarms are broken, but apparently a dorm that's actually right across from mine, the fire alarm in their restroom, I think it was, was going off. So anyway, that was not cute. That was not fun. It was kind of ridiculous. And I just think we should be excused from classes and all assignments. But you know what? That's an argument for a different day. But I have basically made it through my first week of college as a second year in a pandemic. It's about to be for the books. Um, so today I actually, I originally have three classes scheduled, but for psychology, um, we're actually splitting the class up into two sections. So group A and group B, I'm part of group B. So your girl don't have no work to do today. I don't have to go to lecture. We have a quiz due on Wednesday, but you know, there's really no point in me doing that now. It's not a great way to um, allocate my time. So I'm not gonna work on that until sometime this weekend. Um, but I do have a class, two classes, one from 10 to 10.50. And then I have the class that I owls for slash TA for at 11 to 12. And I'm done with classes. I have some other things to do today. But this morning, I'm about to work on my owls slash TA stuff. I need to get this worksheet completed for the students on Sunday so they can work on that and get some practice problems in. What else do I have planned for the day? Oh, a mentee and I are gonna like get dinner and I'm gonna show her around campus. So that should be fun um and also we don't have school on monday because it's labor day so so happy so i need to find something to do with my friends i want to get off campus i don't know find something to do someplace to eat we will definitely see i will see y'all i guess in the basement after i take this bomb thumbnail y'all so it is 1 35 in the afternoon i just finished lunch not too long ago um again it's friday and i really don't want to do anything today but i do have a few things to do i need to make this owls worksheet because i do have the first session that i am going to leave slash teach on sunday so i'm almost done with that and i'm gonna show you how that's looking um and then i have an appointment a virtual appointment and then what else do I have to do today? Oh, I also need to do some stuff for my other job on campus as a peer mentor, so I'm gonna probably get to that. And then honestly, I'm gonna see if some friends wanna hang, I don't know, maybe go get ice cream, watch a movie, downstairs in the basement. We'll see, but it's the weekend, no school on Monday, so I need to find something to do other than schoolwork or just non-academic work. So yes, let me show you how this worksheet is looking. Okay, so this is how she's looking. I have the answers here, some questions, some of which I made up on my own, or I used some other resources. I reached out to some folks who did this last year and they gave me some really great example problems. Also, I'm trying to like do some social justice science. So I included the Flint water crisis in one of these questions for dimensional analysis stuff. And yeah, so it's looking pretty good. I'm almost done. And then here under Kim 101 Owls, I have an Owls answer key. And so I'm going to keep all the answer keys in here and then I'll upload them onto Blackboard afterwards. So I'm just solving all the problems here. So I'm about to finish that really fast. Okay, and here's the actual worksheet. Very official, okay? Very excited. 
All right, hey y'all. So I think I'm about to close this vlog out here. Apparently my sister has started editing some of this vlog and it's already like 20 minutes long. And I was gonna take y'all along with me for the rest of the day because like I mentioned earlier, I'm meeting with a mentee. We're gonna get dinner, we're gonna explore campus. And then I may meet up with some friends later. And so I'm gonna try to get more footage with me hanging out with friends because I don't just study all day, even though that's mainly what I do. <laughs> um, but it's fine. I'm gonna end this vlog out here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I will see y'all hopefully next week because i'm recording vlogs every other week this is my off week so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog college overall is going well the girl of the second year really excited really happy and yeah i'm excited for this weekend an extended weekend like i said so yeah i will see y'all in the next video bye